Hi ho, it's Lance Schooler, the Savvy Navigator, with our Inco Terms 2010 video part 5, and we're looking at maritime terms. And in particular, we're looking at the maritime terms may not be suitable for containerized cargo. Why is this the case? Well, firstly, please read the disclaimer. The four maritime terms in Inco Terms 2010 are free alongside ship, free on board, cost and freight, cost insurance and freight. And the reason for this is that the Inco terms for maritime have been around for hundreds of years before Inco terms were first published back in 1936. And they were used by sailing ships and horses and carts with bales and barrels and crates. But today we have modern, modern ocean going container vessels with containers which can also be carried not only by ships but by trucks and trains. And so it's appropriate to understand that this may not be appropriate for containerized cargo. So if we look at it this way, the seller is responsible with the maritime terms to load the goods generally on board the vessel, particularly for free on board, cost and freight, cost insurance and freight. But realistically with containerized cargo, if it's LCL cargo, loose container load, then the seller will deliver those goods to a packing depot to be packed in a container. But from that point, the buyer's carrier will be responsible for loading it on the ship. So the risk from that point to onboard the vessel is actually the buyer's. If the goods are going to be sold by the seller and delivered in a full container load, an FCL container, that will be delivered to a terminal or wharf. And even if it's free alongside ship, it's alongside the ship. And so the buyer's carrier would be needing to collect that cargo and load it on board the vessel. So, Inco Terms 2010 suggest that instead of using the maritime terms for containerized cargo, to use alternates. And the alternates are this. For free alongside ship, they recommend free carrier at the wharf. For free on board, they recommend free carrier to the depot or the terminal. For cost and freight, once again, carriage paid to, but the delivery would be to the terminal or the packing depot. And for cost insurance and freight, the risk delivery would be to the packing depot or the terminal. And obviously with the C terms, the freight amount would be paid by the seller and also the insurance in CIP, but the risk would cease when they deliver to the depot or carrier in the loading port. So I do suggest if you haven't already purchased the book, you do so. Get the Inco Terms 2010 book. And our next video, how do the new D terms work?